this every year at Northampton Museums we run this, we run Take One Shoe. Take One Shoe was developed from, oh, that's not the right presentation. Take One Shoe was developed from um, the National Gallery's Take One Picture Programme. Some of you might be doing that in schools now and it's where they choose paint from their collection. You focus on that and find out lots of different things. What we do is we take a shoe from our collection, we've got 13,000 altogether to choose from, and we use that as a focus for cross-curricular learning. For 2011 to 12, we chose a um, Chinese tiger shoe, which is child's shoe, quite small, lots of detailed work on it. And what we do is we hold every year a teacher's CPD day. That's usually in October. And in that CPD day, teachers come along, we tell them about tip one and the principles of it, we introduce the shoe and we show you the approach that tip one takes. There's three approaches that we introduce about working with the shoe. First is the imaginative one. So with our Chinese tiger shoe, we did lots of close-up images of it. It had whiskers, it had a little tail, it had eyes, it had lots of lovely stitching and embroidery on and um, what we did is we focused in on those and we tried to say, what do you think this is? What means these different things? Because it wasn't obvious that it was a shoe at all until you took a bigger picture from behind. The factual is where we actually just tell them the details about what the shoe is. So it's a pair of 1920s Chinese tiger shoes made entirely of textiles, completely hand-stitched and embroidered. Tigers protect children from danger, scaring away evil spirits. And there's a Chinese folklore story about a boy who had these shoes and um, was protected when he wore them. Then it gets exciting because then we have the educational view. And what we do there is we start to discover different avenues to explore. We can jump into the shoe and start to imagine what it feels like to wear them, where we might be. So we take it away from just being the facts, which can be a bit dry and boring, and we take it away from being complete fantasy and actually put it in some sort of context. So we invite staff who are there on the day, but also obviously pupils when you're back at school, to jump into the shoes and ask lots of questions about who wears them, where are we, what are we doing, what can we smell, touch, taste, all of that. And that's when our adventure with that shoe really starts to open up. <laughs> If you need a little bit of help getting some ideas going, we produce a booklet. In that booklet we have what's called lines of inquiry. And these are sort of ideas that have meaningful connections to the shoe. But they're not exhaustive. You can get the pupils to think of their own lines of inquiry. You can think of some yourself that fit with your school and what you're working on generally. So for the tiger shoes, one line of inquiry, tigers. And we looked at that and we thought, what can we explore about tigers? We can explore their environment and their habitat. We can explore animal, animal classification, life cycles, patterns, symmetry, um, adaptation, endangered species, morals and tigers in folklore. So we could cover there English, math, science, PSHE, art, ICT, drama, geography, history, this goes on. Other lines of inquiries we identified were China, colour, shoes and well-being, all linked to the information we had about that shoe. We invite all shoes to take on the project and then submit their work for an annual exhibition that we have every year and the schools that did this one explored China, myths, folklore, <coughs> costume, shoes, embroidery, tigers, stories and the Chinese New Year, so it was really wide, really broad. The quality of work that they do is always really excellent, some brilliant stuff that the children come up with, and we have a little launch party for the project. And yeah, so that's take one. But then obviously we do lots of other things as well at the museum. We've got our on-site sessions and handling sessions linked to curriculum topics. We've got outreach, we do just general visits where you can come in for free and yeah, I'm not as well.